I, I really want to know, uh, for you guys, obviously the premiere got pushed to October, uh, from October 19th uh, to next year. Did it, was it your guys' idea to do that October 19th as a state of mind idea? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, Gillian's like the mastermind when it comes to uh, ways to get our name out there. Um, we all have ideas, but Gillian's one's like, we're going to do this! And we're like, okay! <laughs> so she can yeah, yeah. Oh, about giving something to the fans, mm -hmm. because, you know, as much as it's hard for us when we get, when our schedules push mm -hmm. on these things, we know that it's equally hard for the fans. They're like right there with right. us about it. And as much as people don't always address it in a straightforward manner with us, so Julian, it was mm -hmm. important. And the, and the writers got on board and something uh, out wrote something amazing fans. and we, sh we shot it. And it was well received. Thank you, Gillies. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking um, of the fans, you have incredibly vocal, proactive fans. Mm -hmm. I mean, wh why Amen. do you think that is? I mean, is it sort of unusual for you? Have you known this on, you know? Other shows. Allie's got it on Mad Men. Yeah, yeah. I, I would yeah. say there's like a similarly yeah. fiendish fan base. I mean that in the best way. Mm -hmm. um, on Mad Men and yeah. on and on this show. Um, thank God that we do because this is a show that that quite literally would not be around. I don't think mm -hmm. if the fans were not so loud <laughs> and um, always standing in defense of our show. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's great. Yeah, I think it is because our show is still somehow under the radar four years in that they feel like it's their show and they take sort mm -hmm. of an active ownership in it and mm -hmm. they I think they've seen enough shows that they mm -hmm. love to come and go that they don't want to let it happen to our mm -hmm. show so mm -hmm. they're very organized which I'm always yeah. shocked by. Very creative. <laughs> very very creative. And it is their show. I mean I feel like from the very beginning Dan Harmon would put a lot of things in the script that mm -hmm. you, you know came from fan feedback on Twitter and other sorts of encounters with fans and even still we're always like oh let's put in this Easter egg which is kind of also to entertain ourselves on yeah. set mm -hmm. and also because <laughs> we think that, that fans will enjoy it and then a lot of the time they do and they <laughs> they catch that stuff so mm -hmm. it, it, you know. I was on a, a kids show for a few years Drake and Josh and so I had known a fan base of like babies like in, in my mind children were the most rabid fan base because they repeat shows over and over and mm -hmm. over again and a new generation will find it. So I had that experience with Drake and Josh, but I've never had the experience where there's people drawing us and, and writing songs and, you know, creating costumes. We, we, me and Gillian met a girl who made Allison's um, dramatorium the, the, yes, yeah. the Geneva outfit that was, I'm sorry, in better condition and more well made than, and hers was a, Alice's was vintage, like some vintage thing, and this girl just from seeing it on television created a perfect replica of it, and me and Gillian were like, can we take your picture? Like we were like, <laughs> like her fan after that, so um, I've never seen this level of creativity and love um, focused on one show like this, it's been amazing. You've got a, a couple of holiday episodes that are obviously going to be airing. <laughs> <laughs> on Harbor Day. <laughs> Yes. But I feel like, I mean, because you are still in production, will you be able to acknowledge that? It'd be very community to acknowledge it that. We, we did try to do that in our Christmas episode because we found out the new air date mid, the February 7th air date mm -hmm. mid shooting of our Christmas episode. So we tried to kind of work in a line that was Here's like, yes, this is great in the house. Or it could also work for, for Valentine's yeah. Day or whenever people might see it. <laughs> yeah. So I hope that that line yeah, one makes it in, yeah. It. And that was Joel, like, fighting for He's like, we have to say something. Yeah. And we were like, we do. Yeah. But but unfortunately, Halloween was shot months yeah. ago. August, it was August. like a second episode we shot, so I feel like that and this one was our first th year doing Thanksgiving, which I was really excited about. Oh, it's going to be a Thanksgiving episode. I love the Friends Thanksgiving episode. Yeah. The first year that we're yeah. like, we're doing every yeah. holiday <laughs> to be in. Yeah. It's very community though somehow yeah, that we're going to be having a yeah. Just Halloween like episode yeah, in March. Works, I mean, it works. It, yeah. it's it our show. <laughs> um, we don't know a ton about many of the episodes this season or really what happens for each of your characters. So can you kind of give like an overview of What are we allowed to say? We love to talk about nothing. Yeah. I mean, and this is all yeah. for, for the premiere episode. So definitely, I know it's a long time for the yeah. premiere. I'm like, what is all the premiere? All of this stuff episode. is ready for the premiere. <laughs> I know. So this is all like running for the in February <laughs> or it's so, traditional, which yeah. is different timing. Yeah. Okay. So you can feel free that's to definitely talk hard. about where everyone is at the start of the season. Okay. That's, yeah. That's I really care. Right. Right. I know. I have a sheet. I have a cheat sheet. Well, <laughs> I mean, that would be like for the class and the sort of Games and sort of what. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be the best to set it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the premiere. Oh, yeah. Okay. In the oh, yeah. premiere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. I well, can't. Well, I haven't looked at that. Well, I haven't looked at that. There's good parts we can't mention.
question. <laughs> so, just no. <laughs> okay, I thought of character stuff for me. Great. Go, do that it. That Annie, Go. well, in the first, in the premiere episode, we see Annie trying to kind of be loosey-goosey again, and, like, she's going to play senioritis this year, and it's sort of, mm -hmm. like, similar to Abed. I think the group is struggling with... The, and the whole group this season is struggling with the idea of Jeff graduating. It's our fourth year, and mm -hmm. he wants to graduate early like he always has. And so I think that's kind of a general group mm -hmm. struggle this season. And then it's other characters sort of finding their way. You know, other characters may not graduate this year. And Some may, though. You never know. <laughs> Anybody can graduate. It's a wild card. So Annie Maybe sort of... Maybe Shirley graduates. You just don't know. <laughs> But Andy, Annie ends up finding a new direction in um, forensics and like that that's a thing that she's really enjoyed, which I think was is kind of makes sense because it touches on things from past seasons, mm -hmm. like the Law and Order episode, even though she was more of the lawyer in that mm -hmm. episode. But, uh, and I thought it was, was speech and debate forensics when I read it in the script. I was like, <laughs> Gillian! <laughs> But so that was so that's Annie's new direction. Oh, sure. Would anyone else like to? Yeah, do you remember? You <laughs> um, were with me in the premiere. Where is it? Were we together? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. pulling pranks. Yeah, remember? Oh, um, okay. We, we had okay. Okay, can we skip? Yeah. yeah, Shirley has a sandwich shop this year, and there's um there's uh, the, this team is back together. The, everyone wanted it. They wanted it. Everyone wanted it. Everyone's <laughs> been <laughs> sending us mail. They want these two. <laughs> Shirley, the Annie Shirley duo. They wanted so the Annie Shirley duo is back, back for half an episode. Half an episode. <laughs> we make our ground fit return. We um, do in the C storyline of the premiere <laughs> episode. So we have at least three minutes together. At <laughs> least we're getting the band back together. At least three minutes. So. And Gillian, you know what Frida's major comes in to play for many episodes? <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 So that's the other thing. <clears throat> See guys, this is a problem when we shoot them and then we don't <laughs> And they're see not them. airing. Yeah, they don't show us edits of anything. the episodes. No. We don't watch them until they literally air on television. So we're waiting until February So time. we can't remember these things. Um, you know, Britta. <laughs> Britta. Uh, a lot of therapizing. Yeah, like continued therapizing. Mm -hmm. um, just undeterred in her attempts to um, inflict her therapy skills on the group. And yeah. yeah, I mean, because people aren't willing participants, <laughs> just yeah. for forcing it on them. So what? True. more of that. Yeah. We know that uh, you know for for four years now you've said you'd like a uh, a Troy Shirley yes. story, and it looks like you're finally getting Let me tell it. You something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Dreams do come true. People. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams do come true. Uh, if you say them enough. If you say if them enough. enough if you enough. wear people down yeah. enough. Uh, Troy and I, Donald and I have worked together. Shirley and Troy have worked together probably four or five times already this season. Which yeah, even just been a lot it's been a lot. Like, even Shelley just small Troy. little thing conversations. We've had a full episode that's um, we're the A or B story. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's another little nice little thing. So there's going to be a lot of Shirley and Troy this year, which I was excited. I never got the to Halloween with Donald. Episode. Yeah, it's a lot of Shirley and Troy. So yeah, dreams do come true. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to touch base on what you. Refer referred to before when you were saying you, you shoot all this stuff and then you get to see it when it almost when it airs. When it airs. Uh, when it airs. <laughs> we're not kidding. We watch it when we see it what every time. What surprises you the most from that experience of just shooting it and reading the script and seeing it live? What surprises you the most when you actually see all the episodes? I feel like the whole episodes are they're a surprise on many levels. Yeah. First we're like, oh yeah, that's what the episode <laughs> yeah, is yeah, about. about. Yeah. Second, I feel like because we really by our fourth year now, and maybe maybe me and Danny more than others, <laughs> kind of goof off quite a bit and try to get little weird things on the show. <laughs> so we, I like watching it because we'll to be like, oh, made it the, the high five didn't make it. <laughs> oh, but our weird look made it. <laughs> like, <laughs> so that I enjoy. It's so true. But I wish we could watch them as they were airing like we did our first and second seasons mm. because then Danny and I would know. We at least would be like, okay, our, none of our fives have made it in yet. Now we have to be a little bit more diligent <laughs> about working one in. First season, it didn't make it in until the finale episode. Wow. But it made it. <laughs> Since you guys have new showrunners this year, how has that kind of changed the environment, the working environment? I don't think it's changed. it's changed. No, for us on set, it's exactly the same as it's always been. And also, Tristram Shapiro has directed every other episode this season, and he directed 
a lot of episodes in season three and season two and Chicken Fingers in season one. So for us, he's a very familiar presence and because he's directed so many of them. Mm-hmm. And we have a lot of recur- uh, returning directors yeah, that, that we've worked with before. Yeah. And a lot of our writers are still here. Sure. Yeah. You know, so it, it <clears throat> we don't have interaction with the writers and the producers unless the writers come on their episode and the producers, even executive producers, they kind of float in from time to time if they're not directors. We don't really see them that much. So it feels the same on the actual set, you know, mm-hmm. as you know, as before, I think. I think fans will be happy to hear that. Oh, yeah. <laughs>